Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalrin, and a long time ago, I made a video asking you guys which spec do you think will be the best for PvP once Legion comes out. I made that video way back when Legion was in an alpha, like a really really early alpha when nothing was set in stone. A lot of abilities were either buggy or dealt too much damage, but we are coming down to August when the game is going to be finally released and we have had a ton of footage, a ton of information from what the beta of the game can provide for us. First of all, I feel like this needs to be said every time somebody makes a beta video, just for fairness of the audience. The game currently is in a beta. Everything, and I mean everything, every class, every ability, every quest, every item is on the table and is up for any kind of changes. So please do recognize this when you are watching this video and when you're kind of deciding to give me an answer on your guys' opinion. But I basically just want to ask you guys, what do you think is going to be the spec that you will be maining? There's a lot of good specs out there. First of all, for every single class, a lot of specs got reworked and Rogue is no different. The fantasy behind each spec of Rogue, Assassination, Subtlety and Outlaw are completely different. Not just the name for Outlaw, not just some of the abilities, but even the fantasy, the idea behind it and especially the playstyle. Like for example, all rogues share stealth, all of them use it as like an introduction to another class. Hi, my name is a rogue and I use stealth as you open up on your target. But how you use stealth? The only spec that actually takes advantage of stealth and has mechanics where stealth is a tool, is a weapon, is subtlety. Other rogues just use it as a way to introduce themselves. But subtlety dwells into stealth and into like shadow magic damage and this ninja-like mechanic to it. But then we got another spec of assassination. Uh, subtlety and assassination both have a dot and it's a pretty strong dot. But assassination has a lot more dots, a lot more dots at his disposal and a lot of different ways to control a target. You are an assassin. Once you choose your target, that target is dead. That target is under your control. You're gonna put all your dots on it. You're gonna make him bleed. You're gonna silence the enemy. Like think of assassins assassinating like some really, really high figure. You can grow so you can silence the traitor or silence the tyrant and then you bleed him up to death and you can literally after you dot him up you can walk away and there's nothing they can do about it you are a force to be reckoned with but you do miss cc and that's one of the things you are kind of giving up you've given up like this amazing amount of cc but you're going for this insane amount of damage that you have a lot often or you could be an outlaw rogue somebody who uses tricks and guile to the full extent more than any of the other specs to fight your foe and to fight an unfair battle. I mean, why would you want to fight fair in the first place? Just pick up a sword, you even have a stored pistol in your jacket, which it doesn't seem as your weapon. You just pull it out of nowhere in this fight, just use a pistol and just like, whoa. And you have this really cool piratey theme and like really cool piratey based abilities. So I feel like the specs themselves are just well defined in terms of how you look at them, how you imagine your character to be. What do you want out of your character? What do you want to see out of your character? I feel like there's just a lot, a lot of goodness in that part, but also how they play. But that's only one part of the game, to be able to play the game and make your character and customize them, because that's the whole point of a RPG kind of game. It's a role-playing game, and you make this cool character that you're proud to call your own, kind of. At least, maybe that's just me here. But that's part of the fantasy and part of the fun. The other part of the game is actually playing it. It's looking at actual numbers, at how good a spec is, how much CC does it have, how viable it is. And I would I would like to say that Assassination, Subtlety and Outlaw all have a place in RBGs, duels, arenas and even world PvP. Not only are the specs unique in terms of how they play and how they look and their whole theme, but they also are unique in terms of like, let's say which arena comps will you be able to roll. I'm pretty sure Outlaw is going to have certain comps that it can run, Subtlety is going to have certain comps that it, that's better at, and Assassination, the master of damage, is going to have different comps that it runs. What's fun about each spec is how each one is going to have the different jobs that try to accomplish, whether it be in BGs, arenas, and even PvE based situations. From what we can take a look at Assassination, besides the tons of damage, which I would think you would want to spread on more than one target just to pressure the team, you also have a lot of this caster control, whether you have it through your class talents, through Garrote, or your PvP honor talents. You actually have just a lot of caster control, whether you want to try to kill a healer, or control a mage, control a shadow priest, control a shaman. So. Uh, assassination is probably going to be a spec that CCs healers and is going to be probably one of the best healer killers. When we take a look at subtlety, we see a rogue that will not be peelable at all, especially in battlegrounds when the FC takes the flag because of subtlety's mobility. You still have strong lineups, so every time you line up your burst and even your dot, and when you 
line up the whole cheap shot mechanic and the stone back to back in the enemy, you still have that as subtlety. So with the mobility and be able to line up, you're deadly against whatever foe you select, whether they are hunter, mage, warrior, windwalker, it doesn't even matter if they have mobility, you still will be able to stay on their case and still be able to line up damage. Also, as subtlety, you still have capability to suppress a healer or suppress one single target, so in arena plays you can still have some cross CC because you have shadow step kick or shadow step kidney and you can still play around with your common points, so subtlety is probably going to be the guy who lines up the kill on a guy you're trying to kill. And Outlaw I found to be a very very interesting playstyle. It seems like you're just very basically a mama bird. You're very micromanaging kind of rogue. You're trying to manage your foes as well as your friendlies. You're trying to make sure that when you need peeling for your friendlies, you are there to peel them. You are there to actively support them. But when enemies are doing burst, you are actively there to suppress them. So you're kind of just trying to control the world and control the situation with all your tricks, all your guile, your range stun, your blind, your gouge, your reduced cooldowns and all your your CC if you can get CDR working, as well as have a lot of sustained damage and a lot of team play based mechanics, whether you're trying to provide your friendly's haste 15% of it for 8 seconds, or you're trying to get free adrenaline rush off your friendly stuns, or you're trying to just simply buff your friends and yourself by 15% extra damage every time you burst. So I feel like the diversity between simple play styles and just how you want to play of all the specs of Rogue in Legion just to be perfect, just to be on point, just different enough where it just feels like everything I'm doing is going to be different than Assassination. Everything Assassination doing is different than Subtlety, everything Subtlety doing is different than Outlaw, making the specs unique while at the same time viable in specific comps. So then let me ask you guys this again, which spec do you think you're going to main once Legion comes out? In my honest opinion, I feel like the specs don't matter as much in terms of viability. I feel like there's a lot of viability, whatever you enjoy playing, and that's probably one of the best parts of Legion is if you want to play one style, you can, and it has a place in the game. If you want to play another style, you also can, and it also has a place in the game. And again, meta will change, and this game's still in beta, so by the time it's in August, maybe things will be different. But what if things stayed as they are in beta? Which spec would you end up playing? Which spec would you end up maining? And let me know in the comments below, I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you enjoyed this discussion. I just wanted to start a conversation and hopefully you guys will respond. Thank you guys, I'll see you in the next one.